And that, I think, resonates more in North Korea than anywhere else. This is why hyper-nationalism are not germane to Korea. We see this in China, Japan, and other the press. And so on, had nothing to do with China, of course. But to tell the truth, the problem is not the He is, without a doubt, I think when Kim Jong-un goes to Vietnam, he doesn't see the virtues of a communist state that allows enough freedom that can actually succeed economically. I think that the real key to reform in North Korea has to be a willingness to say that the founding fathers of that horrific dictatorship, i.e. the father and grandfather of Kim Jong-un, made terrible mistakes, and he's probably one of the last people in the world can actually admit that, so I remain a skeptic. But I do think if we want to actually see some real progress, there's got to be real progress in the North with respect to freedom of movement, both inside the country and between the country and the outside world. We can fix Korea. And so the second recommendation was to do something that we had never done over the course of uh, U.S. policy going back more than 25 years, and that is to apply such an overwhelming level of pressure, sanctions, uh, and other measures on North Korea uh, that would be so overwhelming vis-a-vis uh, -vis the North Korean economy vis-a-vis -vis the freedom of movement of its diplomats, vis-a-vis -vis the operation of its overseas uh, companies and, uh, and embassies, et cetera, uh, cutting it off from the international banking system, cutting it off from the international trade system, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I call this, by the way, massive pressure, not maximum pressure. The last session will now begin. Dr. In the third summit with the Trump, Kim Jong-un may even deliver new deal like opening nuclear hidden facilities in exchange for lifting partial UN sanctions.